All right, so now you know how to find your Mount Royal email. Let's have a look at some of the features that this account has. So what you're looking at is the inbox of an email account, and this is my Mount Royal email account. So here we have all of the incoming messages, and on the side here, uh, it gives me all the folders that I have created, uh, where I've sent mail, and my inbox, for example. But what I want to show you uh, and look at is what's happening over here in the top right hand corner. So let's just make that a little bit bigger. All right, so at the top here we have three icons. Starting from the right hand side, the colored circle with the letter in it is the first letter of your first name. And when you click on it, it shows you all of the accounts that you have that are operated by Google. So these are all my Google accounts. So I have this one, my Mount Royal Google account. So this is a Gmail account. I also have access to Alex's account. He's my son and he's in grade, well, almost in grade four. And the CBE is also, has their accounts run by, by Google. And then down at the bottom here is my personal account. Okay? And so my personal account has Gmail as the, the tag on the end. Okay? So all three of these accounts are all Google accounts, even though this one says Mount Royal, this one says EduCBE, and the last one says Gmail. Okay? What you want to make sure of is that when you are sending emails to your teacher, that you're not sending them from your personal account, but that you are sending them from your Mount Royal account. It's really important for you to check your email every day. There are three groups of people that like to communicate with you through your Mount Royal email account. And the first group is the university itself. So you will get messages from the university advising you of events uh, happening around campus or uh, just special announcements that the university feels all students should receive. The second group of people that like to email you is our department, the English Language Program. So you will get emails, not many, but a few emails from our department uh, that are especially for our um, English Language Program students. And then obviously the last person that likes to use your or contact you with using your email address is your teachers. Okay? So it's important for you to check your email every day in the same way that you check Blackboard every day. All right, so let's get out of that and come over to this bell. Uh, this bell you don't have to worry about. It's what it is, it's access to what's called Google Plus. And Google Plus is a social media site like Facebook, but currently Mount Royal, um, your Mount Royal email account is not registered as a Google Plus account. So this bell, you don't ever have to worry about. Okay? So let's move over here. This is called the grid or the waffle. And under here, or in here, sorry, is where you're going to see all of your Google apps. So let's click and see what's in here. Okay, lots of stuff. So the most important thing in here is accessing your Google Drive. Okay. This is where you are going to see where there are documents that have been shared with you, where you can create a Google document and share it with your classmates or your teacher. Um, and store information. Okay? And you'll see another presentation that talks about storing information on the cloud. So this is, this is the cloud, Google Drive. Okay? There's lots of other apps in this uh, folder, but uh, we'll talk about those in a different presentation. Okay? I just want you to know that where you are going to find your drive is in your email account by clicking on the waffle and then seeing the drive here. Okay. 
The other place you can get to your Google Drive is whenever you open a new tab. Let's go out of that. If we open a new tab up here, okay, you'll see on the side here, we've got Gmail, Images, and there it is again, the waffle. Okay. So when I click on that, as long as I'm signed in, I can get to my drive. Okay. Oh, it's going to ask me to sign in. Okay. Uh, so there we are. So that would be, that's what my drive looks like. Okay. All right, I'm going to close that out because that's not what this presentation is about. All right, the last button's on the bottom here. The only other one to really pay attention to is your settings, which is right here. So here is where you can um, fix the, or choose the settings. Well, that's not what I wanted to show you, sorry. <laughs> here, themes. So if you want to change the background, you want a, a nice beach scene, or maybe you're a city person, or nature person. You can choose one of these to customize your, your background. So maybe I want to change from my, my sky picture to a beautiful lake picture. Mm, that's lovely. Right, let me get out of this one. Okay, so there you go. So you can play with that in settings if you like. Okay, so just to review, we have the circle where you have access to all your Gmail accounts. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay. The bell, you don't have to worry about. And the waffle, this is where you find your Google Drive.